Antonio worked with your daughter in the past and it was during her self-tape that he realized he wanted to cast you for this role. How did he initially approach you for this project and what were those early conversations? Well, it, it was funny because I, she, she, um, he, he casted my daughter Beatrice for, for the role on this movie. And then I he, he was doing rehearsals with the actress that was going to play the mother. And he wanted to play, do some role playing where she was going to tell her mother that she kissed the girl at school and she didn't know how to. And he wanted to include the father on that conversation. Mm. And he didn't get the, the actor casted as the father. So I was there just waiting for her to finish. And he asked me just to play the role. And I was I was pretty relaxed because I wasn't auditioning or anything. I was just playing. So I think that was, that was the, the trick. I was relaxed. I was being... Mm what I thought it would be, not myself, obviously, because I wouldn't have any problems with, with that. But he, want, he wanted to, me to play a more conservative father and, yeah. and, and, and of sorts. And at the end of that day, we kept doing rehearsals. I kept playing the role of the father just, just for rehearsal purposes and called me and asked me if I wanted to play the role. And I'm like, sure, of course. <laughs> I'm, I'm My background, I'm a stuntman. I'm yeah. a stunt performer. And uh, I, I have training as an actor and I do several roles, but always related to action. And this was quite a surprise and I enjoyed it so much. Yeah, yeah you're fantastic in the film. And you were actually a lot younger than he initially envisioned for, for this character. And they had to age you up with makeup and different techniques. How helpful was that in your process as you prepared to step into your character's shoes? Yeah, I did. I mean, I, I I went early to the location to meet the locals and and yeah. you know talk to people there and all. And it's it's a it's a different mindset from us that urban people that live in the city. Um, Portugal as a as a very rural rural um, areas where it's it's not cosmopolitan as in the states or anything. And it was it was very interesting. I. I I milked goats. I waxed, I axed down trees and all that. And <laughs> it was really, really interesting. You have to taste the wine that they produce. Everyone produces a different wine. You have to taste the wines and compliment. And it, it was very interesting. Also, really important to Antonio that each of the actors could bring elements of themselves to to their characters. How were you able to bring yourself to this role? I mean, I think he casted me because I I was constantly making jokes about. <laughs> Uh, about the most dramatic situations and i think that's what he wanted for the role and that was i think that was my input uh and the the the, the, the jokes are written on the script I'm, I'm i'm not coming up with them myself but on the rehearsals i think i think he found that funny i think he should be the best guy to to answer that question but he told me he confessed to me that it was it was mainly that and the chemistry between uh, father yeah. and daughter that was real Perfect second for this next question, but you know, the, this is such a beautiful film where we get to follow this family at different seasons of their lives after their son leaves for college, and you and your fellow actors have such incredible chemistry on this screen, and you really do believe that you are a family. How were the four of you able to, to build that bond? I mean, we 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 were all living together as we were shooting in, in a house and sharing all well, different rooms, but we were all sharing the kitchen and and the bathrooms and everything and we were all and i was i was hiking with the, the actress that plays my wife and we went for long hikes and conversations mm -hmm. and all and we just just tried to make ourselves a real family because we were we spent a lot of time together as a family and uh, on on that place we shot yeah like you were saying earlier you know, your, your character represents a very old school mentality and mindset and when you're playing a character who's so different from you, is that more or less challenging? Oh, it's, I don't know. That's a good question. I think it's challenging because you have to leave your, you let, leave your body. When you do uh, racist jokes and sexist comments, I mean, it's, it's nowadays it's, it's, you don't want to say it. If you feel awkward saying those things, but you, you really have to, get out of yourself and it's not you it's a character that you're playing it's uh, and it makes sense because as i was spending my time there 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 there's a lot of people with that mentality there they're not bad people they just don't know any better so mm -hmm. it's so it, 
Yeah, that was the diff most difficult part. I was saying things to the actors that plays my wife, and I was like, "Oh my god, if I said this to my wife." <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you did a fantastic job of that. It was very shocking when you Thank see you. in the film. And, you know, like you're saying, you know, this is your first feature film de debut as a lead. Congratulations! Did anything surprise you about this experience? What have you learned about your craft? I mean, I I I didn't know I could. You know, I've I've been playing a lot of roles. I've done I've done parts in many many movies. I didn't know I I, I could play a role with such a deep role, such a to craft such a character. And I was a bit concerned because I was working with my daughter, and she she mm. I don't know if you have you haven't met her, but she is really she she was born for this. You know, she has a Golden yeah. Globe, and she played. She auditioned for Anne Frank, six hundred applicants, and she won. And she she's really really good. And I was like, I, I'm not that good, I think. So it's going to be far more noticeable if I work with her. Um, but I decided mm -hmm. to, you know, dive deep into that, and I cancelled everything else in my life, and I just went into that character for those those weeks we shot. That I don't know. I was I was nervous. That's why <laughs> I did what I did. No, you are that good. You know, as you were making your debut as a lead, did your daughter share any words of advice to you? Oh, obviously. I keep we 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 practice the scenes and and she she really lives the case. She has a she has a transformation process that mm. I I could never understand. She can really <laughs> she she's really she's really quiet and polite. You, you are on set. She's 19 years old, so you would expect her to be like pulling her phone out and doing a TikTok dance or a, mm. an Instagram photo. She does nothing of sorts. So she just pulls aside, reads her book. She's she's really quiet. And then when she, when when you go action, she just changes herself totally. She's now playing a on a on a TV show on a series for Amazon Prime. She's playing a a, a sexual maniac. I mean, I was like, oh my god! Let's <laughs> talk about different roles in the same year. She plays Anne Frank and the sexual maniac. Anyway, so <laughs> yeah, all part of growing up. Yeah, you know, as this film makes its premiere at the Austin Film Festival, what do you hope audiences take away after they see it? Is there a particular scene that you're really excited for them to see? Well, I don't know. Um, I think that the the the, the movie is very raw. It's very yeah, real life. That's that's how things happen, and that's that's an experience you don't see much in movies these days. It's all. A lot of visual eye candy and cinematic experiences and motion and a lot of things that go into blockbusters. And we're giving the audience a different ex experience. They experience that family life and the, the feeling of emptiness. That's what happens because the kids are leaving and we, we look at the relationship between father and mother. It's like, what are we going to be from now on? And I think the artist is going to relate. Everybody that has kids, grown-up kids, is going to relate to that. I've, I've got more kids. Beatrice is the oldest, but I've got other kids, and I relate to that. My favorite scene, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I like axing down the tree. <laughs> uh, I, know, I, know, I know it's not it's not deep or dramatic, but I, was, I had to... How would, you, how would you call the guys that chop down trees? I, I can't remember the word. Uh, lumberjack? Lumberjacks. Yeah. Yeah, I had two lumberjacks to chop down the tree uh, in case I couldn't make it. Mm. So they were there, they would chop half, half the log, and then I would finish it. But I, but, but I'm an Aikido master. I have 24 years of training with, with samurai swords. So I used all my body, and I chopped down the tree <laughs> in like four or five waxes, and they were all so very impressed. So they took me into their little group of of lumberjacks, and I had to taste the wine, and I had to taste their their cookies, and that was the funniest part of the movie. Was that as I was ex being accepted, I, I went from the the city guy that knows nothing about the countryside into a honorary lumberjack. <laughs> uh, that was my favorite bit of the movie. But the favorite scene, I I, I don't know. I I really like the the dinner scene where. Uh, Bellini says she's going to study abroad. Mm. I really like that one. I and I I, I like the 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 steady cam, the 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 long shot of the first lunch as a family because mm. we had to rehearse and rehearse and rehearse. 
but it was just hard work. But I, I really like that one, which it's so awkward because you, you have the you, you've seen the movie, right? Yeah, yeah, I saw so it. I'm not yesterday. gonna spoil it for you. Also. <laughs> <laughs> you have the you, you have my son's girlfriend there, and she's witnessing all that disruption, <laughs> yeah. and I think and that's that's one of my favorite scenes. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot that happens in that scene. You know, one of the themes of this film is about finding your purpose. How did you discover your passion for stunt work and for storytelling? Well. Uh... I, I I trained martial arts since I was a kid, and then I met I met uh, David, and he was moving. He, he went from America to Portugal to set up a, a stunt team. So I I met him. I started training with him. I I, I had no intention of becoming a stuntman, but he, he didn't have anyone in the team with my looks. I mean, all of them were like muscles and tattoos and all like gym guys, and I'm I'm much more regular a regular person. So. I'm I'm far easier to put on a role than any of them because they're all typecast as you know, uh, henchman or or a, a doorman or whatever or a security guy, and I can play other roles, especially if they're they're like set in different times, uh, like in the the 19th century or because I normally use a bigger hair and a bigger beard, and that's how I started. I started like I don't know many years ago, and. And because I wanted to have a, a different skill than all my colleagues had, I went to, yeah. to study acting because none of them had that. And I wanted to you know, give something else to the team. Some of them have, 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 are precision drivers, others are weapon experts. So I went into acting so I, we could have, we could broaden our offer. That's yeah. how it happened. And then I started doing roles and roles and being invited for more and more roles. And I ended up doing this. God knows what comes next. I don't know. Okay, I got one final question for you. You know, you're supposed to stand out in this film, and you know, Antonio wrote and directed it. Is a filming experience different when the person who's created these characters in this universe is also at the helm directing? What was that collaboration like? Yeah, it's totally different because Antonio really, really knew what he wanted. Mm. He he was really, really specific with some reactions and some looks and some actions and. It was really, really specific. When you do work for for television, for example, uh, the director is is not so engaged. He's just you know doing an in, an industrialized product. So you have more of yourself in the role, and you you have to trust more the actors. Not, not that he didn't trust us, but he knew specifically what he what he wanted to portray with with each character. And I I, I was impressed. I was impressed with him when he did the the short film with my daughter. They they won a couple of awards in around the world i was really impressed but i was really impressed with this movie i think he really yeah. knows what he's doing and when i saw the final edit i was like wow he really because i don't know if you know this but it changed the he changed the, the direct i don't know how to say it it's different from season to season yeah the style of, of directing and editing and it's it's i i really thought it was amazing